Hi, I'm Jason Bellamy here at APJ headquarters in Alexandria, Virginia, and I'm joined by Beck Craig, the editor-in-chief of PGJ. Beck, thanks for being here. Thank you. Um, we're here in August 2014, but the Journal Citation Reports just released its 2013 uh, impact factor scores, and, and PTJ was ranked second of over 60 rehab journals. So this impact factor score, what's the significance of this, and, and what does it mean for PTJ? What the impact factor score means is that you take all the articles in 2013, and you look back two years, all right? So it's a two year before 2013, and it's how often were the articles published cited by other articles, all right? So it's a citation, in a sense, related also related to the number of articles published in the journal. So when we see a number, which ours is of 3.245, what it says is that on average, those articles were used or cited by others uh, about three times, which I think is a very important uh, point. So somebody's actually reading our journal, and that we are number two among all the rehabilitation journals is a really important finding. Absolutely. So that's one metric, but there are other metrics, right? And so, you know, how many are there, um, <laughs> and what, what are some of the other metrics that are used to sort of evaluate that success? I think uh, when one is in academia, you think about U.S. News and World Reports, and you know that there are always people who complain about the use of U.S. News and World Report rankings. When you're ranked well, you're really proud. When you're not ranked well, you're upset, and you, you talk about how bad the, the factor is that measures. So th in the same case with the impact factor. So people say that a problem with the impact factor is the fact that you can cite yourself within your own journal. So self-citations are included in the impact factor calculation, whereas factors like the Eigen factor um, remove that self-citation. And therefore, it's another opportunity to really look at the, the value of the publication in the journal to other journals and the science in other journals. So metrics like these, you know, you can see the appeal for someone who wants to get their research published. So what's the impact factor score if, if my research is published in PTJ, this is what it means to me. Is there value for these scores to the clinician who's consuming the information? Does, does the impact factor score tell them anything about PTJ or other journals? One of the things that I would like to say is that um, we do rank extremely well among rehabilitation journals, but when you look at rehabilitation journals with regard to the huge 10,000 journals that are publishing science related to biomedical research, um, we're, we, we're relatively low, and what that means is that um, journals like the New England Journal of Medicine have an impact factor of 50, so each of the articles are referred to 50 times compared to mm -hmm. ours of three. Does that mean that our research isn't of value? Absolutely not. What it means is that within the area of healthcare, within the area of medicine, rehabilitation hasn't reached the point where it needs to be. Right. And when we look over the years, it's really grown but it isn't growing as fast as we would like it to be. So my goal is to see us ranked at least at a 20 uh, within the next few years. Now the use to the clinician, I think, is when one looks at impact factors within rehabilitation journals, the higher the impact factor, um, the more useful, perhaps, that information is because uh, it means that other scientists are citing that work or other clinicians who are publishing are citing that work. So it, it speaks to the, I think, value um, of the material that's presented in those papers. Excellent, thank you very much. So you can follow PTJ on Twitter. Obviously, you can go to the website as well. For more video updates like these, you can go to our YouTube channel. Beck Craig, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm Jason Bellamy, catch you next time.